Hey guys, Justin here. Today I'll be reacting to SML movie, Cody's Stolen Penny. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy. Oh, look at the Kiki. Hey, Junior. Oh, hey, Cody. Well, who's that? Oh, it's my cat. Oh, well, what's his name? Oh, it's Blue Eyes White Kiki. You know, like Blue Eyes White Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh? But this one's a Kiki. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, look at my coin collection. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, check this out. I got all these pennies. Oh, but this one's my favorite one. See, that's a 1943 steel penny. Now I know what you're thinking. Cody, aren't pennies made of copper? Well, Junior, normally you'd be right. But you see, in 1943, that's when World War II was happening, and they needed the copper for war materials. So they stopped producing copper pennies and made them out of steel instead. So if you get a copper penny from 1943, it's really valuable, because that means it was minted by mistake. But this one, this one's made of steel, so it's not that valuable, but it's a piece of history, so to me, it's priceless. Oh, that's really cool, Cody. Hold on, I'll show you another one. Well, there's a lot of fur on my couch. Let me get my lint roller. Oh, let me see. Let me find a good one. Oh, yeah, this one's really cool. Oh, you're gonna love this. Okay, check this one out, Junior. It's from 1919. Wait, Junior. What happened to my penny? I don't know. It's right here. I, I don't know what happened to it. Well, it's gone now. When did you take it? I did not take it, Cody. You were I was lint rolling the couch and you were looking at your pennies. I didn't take it. Well, I didn't just get up and walk away, Junior. Pennies don't have legs. I don't know what happened to it, Cody. I didn't touch it. Well, you just made it disappear like you're David Copperfield. Or more like David Pennyfield, or, or David David Steelfield, because because it's made of steel and not copper, like like pennies normally are, and you made it disappear, and David Copperfield makes things disappear because he's a he's a magician. I didn't touch your stupid penny, Cody. I don't care about your dumb pennies or your penny collection. No, Junior, I'm so mad, but I gotta go say something real quick. The internet browser you're using sucks. Wanna know why? Because it doesn't have custom SML mods. It's time to fix that with Opera GX. Once you download Opera GX, it's super easy to jump into the GX store and find the SML mod. Just click install and let us take over your browser's wallpaper, sound effects, and more. So, guys, it even lets you play Jeffy's cat piano when you type. They also added our theme song as background music. You can even customize our theme just the way you like it by turning parts of the mod on and off directly from the menu. If you ever want to try out more of the Opera GX mods, there are tons to choose from in the GX store, and switching between them is super easy. Opera GX has other awesome features too, like making your work with AI as easy as possible by building it right into the sidebar with Aria, ChatGPT, and ChatSonic. You can use these to help with your homework, write essays, or even generate images. Moving over to Opera GX is simple with their quick import tool that lets you bring all your bookmarks and settings from your old browser with just a few clicks. Show your love for our channel by using the link in the description to download Opera GX today. Thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Ugh, Junior, ugh, that ad read temporarily distracted me, but now that I'm back and I'm seeing you, I am so mad, I can't believe you would steal my steel penny like that. I did not steal your steel penny, Cody. Oh yeah? Well then who did? It's just me and you here, Junior. I don't see anybody else unless it was your stupid cat. Actually, I shouldn't call him stupid. He seemed very nice and he was very fluffy, so I shouldn't say that. But I bet he didn't take my penny, because he's a cat. He doesn't know about money. He doesn't care. He doesn't know the difference between steel and copper. He doesn't know about World War II. He doesn't know history, Junior. He doesn't care. He's a cat. He did not steal your penny, Cody. No one stole it. It's just lost. Oh, yeah? Well, it was a steel penny, so that's why I think you wanted to steal my steel penny. I did not want to steal your steel penny, Cody. No one cares about your stupid penny. Only you care about pennies. Oh, Junior, this really salts my apples. Oh, boy. Oh, you are a, you are a big jerk. Just a big jerk face. You don't mean that. I do. I mean every word of it, Junior. You're the biggest jerk face I've ever seen. Take it back. Nope. You are a bad guy. You are not a good person. Oh, uh, you are You are rooting for a bootin'. You are clamoring for a hammer, hammering, mister. You are yearning for a burning. Oh, you make me so mad. If I was at a grocery store, I would I would kick a shopping cart. I would. I would kick a shopping cart. But not, not somebody else's shopping cart. I wouldn't want to damage anybody else's produce. No, it would be my shopping cart and probably not in the parking lot because I, I wouldn't want it to roll away and hit somebody's car and cause property damage. I would... That'd be bad. I, I don't want that. But but no, I, I would kick it just so it made the sound, you know? But but not too hard, though, because I, I don't want to damage the shopping cart because then the store would hold me responsible, and I don't want to have to pay for that. I, I'd just kick it right into the shopping cart return, but but probably probably I wouldn't do that either because then it might roll away, and then the shopping cart boy would have to chase after it, and he doesn't get paid enough for that kind of an inconvenience. So I, I wouldn't kick a shopping cart at all, but I am so mad, Junior. You are munching for a punching. Hey, Junior, are you ready to go to the movies? Oh, wow. 
house. You're gonna spend my stolen penny on a movie ticket? Cody, a movie ticket costs more than a the penny. Junior, I'll have you know that steel penny was worth 13 to 30 cents depending on the condition, and it wasn't in very good condition, so it's probably more like 13 cents. And why is there another cat in here, Junior? Are you spending my penny on cats? You need more cats? Wait, Cody, you had a steel penny? I had a steel penny until somebody decided to get sticky fingers. Junior, you saw Cody's steel penny? I did not steal his stupid penny. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, he stole it, Penelope, because it was right there. I'm talking right there. I mean, literally right there. And I look down for one second, and then I look back up, and poof, it's gone. Just like poof. I did not take his stupid penny, Penelope. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He just lost his own penny, and he wants to blame someone for it. Junior, it's not funny. Give it back to him. I did not take his stupid penny. Let's just go to the dumb movies. What movie are you guys in? Kung Fu Panda 4. Oh, wow. Okay, Kung Fu Panda. That sounds really fun. Well, why don't you just come with us? No, no, I don't have enough money because I'm 13 to 30 cents short because somebody stuck my penny. Cody, I'll get your ticket. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Penelope C. Jr. That's what a real friend looks like. I would not steal your stupid penny because I don't care about your dumb penny. How about you guys just go to the movies because I haven't even seen the first three Kung Fu Pandas. Oh, wow. Okay, now you know he's a thief. He hasn't even seen the first three. Well, I don't like karate movies. Well, it's not karate, Junior. It's Kung Fu. It's a completely different martial art. And everybody loves Kung Fu fighting. Okay, well, listen. I'll, look, I'll just go see the fourth one. I don't have to see the first three. You can't start with the fourth one. You gotta see the first three. The Star Wars movies are out of order. True. You, you start with the fourth one with the Star Wars. But it, it's not like that with Kung Fu Panda. Listen, it doesn't matter. Let's go see the stupid dumb movie. Well, I'm coming too. You're, you're not getting out of this that easy. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Hey, Junior, I can't help but notice you bought the large popcorn. That'll run you about $12.50. That's a lot of money to spend on popcorn. It's almost like you came into a lot of money lately. Cody, you said your stupid penny was worth 30 cents. This popcorn was $12.50. How would I buy popcorn with your penny? I don't know, Junior. I don't know how many steel pennies you've been stealing from around town since you're so good at making them disappear. Shh! The movie's starting. Hiya! Hiya! Skadoosh! I'm Jack Black as a panda. Hiya! So his dad's a bird? Shh! Oh, I would really would love to see all this kung fu happening on the screen, but I just can't take my eyes off of Junior because I can't trust him for a second. Kung fu? How about panda foo? Hey, Junior, I got some gummy bears. Try not to take any. Oh, but you won't want them because they're not made of steel. Because if they made them out of steel, that would be a choking hazard and they might get sued, so they probably wouldn't do that. Shh, guys, I'm trying to watch the movie. Sorry. Better not take any of those. I don't want any of them. Well, actually, I don't even know if I want them because they might taste like whoever sat here's butt. Actually, you know what? Get this one out of the way. Oh, I dropped one on the ground, Cody. Oh, you're so embarrassing. I can't believe you stole my gummy bear too, Junior. I didn't steal your stupid gummy bear. It fell on the floor. And I can't believe you guys got us kicked out of the movie theater. That was so embarrassing. Well, this could all be resolved if Junior would just put his hand in his pocket and pull out my steel penny. I don't have anything in my pocket because I don't have pockets. Okay, well, your shoe then. I don't have your penny in my shoe. I didn't steal your stupid penny, Cody. Yeah, well, I already called the police. But you called the police? Yep, that's how serious this is. They're on their way over here right now. <laughs> Oh, please tell me it's not my dad. Hey there, somebody called the cops? Yeah, I did. Oh, hey, Penelope. Hi, Dad. Did you do your homework? Yes, Dad. Are you sure? Dad! You know, Penelope, whenever I ask the guys in death row if yes, they did their homework dad. when they were a kid, they say, yeah, I killed them and I kill them again, too. I don't really like to talk to them. Wow, Dad, that's a great story. Thanks. Well, I would like to report a robbery. Oh, a robbery, huh? Did he have a gun? I don't know. I never thought he would steal from me, so who knows what else he's capable of. Okay, well, what did he steal? My 1943 steel penny. You see, during World War II, they didn't make pennies with copper. And yeah, no, I, I know the story about the pennies. So was it a copper penny or a steel penny? Because if it was a copper penny, that would be worth over a million dollars, and that would be a very serious crime. No, it was a steel penny. Oh, okay, well, that's not that big of a deal. I mean, they're only worth a few cents. I mean, anything under $500 would just be considered petty theft. Oh, it was petty, all right. Well, he stole it, and I want him in handcuffs. Okay, well, let me conduct my police interrogation. Hey, you steal his penny? No. Oh, okay. Well, is there anybody else who could have seen this happen? Well, his cat? Well, I guess we could ask the cat. Okay, I'll go ask him. Hey, cat, you steal my penny? Huh? What? Don't run away from me. Hey! <sighs> Did you talk to the cat? Yeah, but he ran away from me. But that's okay, he seemed pretty innocent to me. And besides, I think I already know who the thief is. I think he's in this room. I just wish he would own up to it. 
I didn't steal your penny, Cody. Oh, really, Junior? That's very interesting you're the first one to respond, because I wasn't talking to you. I was just talking to the thief, so it's really interesting you're the first one to answer. Well, I thought you were talking to me because you've been accusing me all day of stealing it. Or maybe you just felt guilty for stealing my penny. I don't feel guilty. Oh, okay. See, he feels no remorse, so he's also a narcissist as well as a thief. Cody, are you sure it didn't fall on, like, the couch cushions or something? No, it didn't. Junior stole it. Well, did you check the couch cushions? No, and I will not do that. Okay. Okay, well, what if you accidentally put it back in the coin bin without realizing it? I would have remembered doing that. Cody, come on, check your coins. Maybe it somehow got back in there and we just didn't notice. <gasps> or maybe you put it in the coin bin. I, I don't, well, maybe even if I did, you should check it. Okay, I guess it can hurt to check. Nope, not that one. Or that one. Nope, not that one. That one's 1997. No, 1985. 2004. Nope, nope, not that one. Or that one. Wait, hold on. No, 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 not that one. Nope. Nope. No. No. Not that one either. No. Nope. Nope. Not that one. Nope. Still not seeing it. Nope. Well, that one's a quarter. Can I go now? No, because I want to press charges. You really want this to go to court? Yes, I want a judge to decide. Okay, come on then. Uh... Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boober, and today we will be hearing the case <laughs> of Cody, who says that his friend Junior. He is not my friend. Mm, yes, thank you for clarifying. Let the record show that Junior is not Cody's friend. Okay, Cody claims that his not friend, Junior, stole his 1943 steel penny. Cody, tell us what happened. Well, Your Honor, I was showing my coin collection to someone I thought was my friend. But it turns out he was just a coin thief pretending to be my friend. I showed him one of my many steel pennies and placed it right there on the couch. I'm talking right beside me. Like, literally right, right freaking there. And then I looked down for one second and yeah, the steel right penny was there. gone. Junior right. took it because he knew it was valuable and priceless to me. Hmm, I see. This is a very serious accusation. Junior, did you really steal his penny? No, I wouldn't steal his dumb, stupid steel penny. I did not care about it. He was showing me his dumb coin collection, and I really did not care at all. And then he put it on the couch, and I don't know what happened to it. It just went missing, and he wants to blame me for it. I know you took my goddamn penny, you big jerk. You, you big old jerk face, the biggest jerk face I've ever seen. Oh, no, no, no. I will not have any name calling or foul language in my courtroom. Cody, you have not shown me any evidence that would prove Junior guilty, so I have no choice but to find Junior not guilty. Yes! What? Are you kidding me? Justice has not been served today, Your Honor. You just let a thief loose back into the public. If your steel penny gets stolen, don't come crying to me, but I know who did it. See, Cody, I told you I wasn't guilty. Yeah, well, the judge wasn't there, and I don't even think he was a real judge, so I want to see his credentials. You guys, this whole thing is just so stupid. Can we let it go? No, Penelope, it was a steel penny. They don't make them like that anymore. Guys, what is this? That's a lint roller, idiot. Look what's on the lint roller, idiot. Probably lint. Get your good glasses on, Cody. Look. Let me see that. What? My penny. <laughs> oh, when I was rolling up the fur, I must have accidentally rolled up your penny. Wow, I guess I can take these mad eyes off. I don't need these anymore. <laughs> well, don't I just feel silly? <laughs> yeah, it was just a big misunderstanding. Yeah, aren't I just the silliest goose? It was just a big old accident. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's okay, Junior. That happens to everybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just things happen, you know? <laughs> well, that's just so silly. But you know what isn't silly? Opera GX. <laughs>